Ching Fiber Sassy Singles is one of my favorite shawl yarns to knit with because it is just so buttery smooth and soft and we just got a lot of new colors. So in this video, we're gonna take a close up look at all those new Ching Fiber colors and take a look at some project ideas and how to make those yarns come to life. Here's a close up look of that dashing sassy base. It's a single ply merino, so it's really soft and smooth. And Layla over at Ching Fiber has this base custom spun for her. So it's really extra soft and buttery smooth. It's a little different than uh, most of the other singles that I've knit with. It's a little bit more loosely plied, which gives it that fluffy characteristic. And the micron count of this is just insanely soft. So it almost feels like cashmere, that really super lofty, fluffy softness, really smooth next to the skin. So if you're real picky about the softness of your fibers, this is definitely one of the softest merinos that we have at Stephen and Penelope. And the yardage on this, it's 100 grams, and you're gonna get about 400 meters. So you'll get a plenty of yardage, plenty of meters on each skein. So three skeins would be enough to do quite a nice, decent sized shawl. And if you want one of those big schlankets, you could do a five skein fade or a five skein contrast color palette. So I knit this Vertices Unite. This is a beautiful striped and modular constructed piece in garter stitch. It's one of my favorite shawl designs because it's really easy to knit with garter stitch, but the construction makes it really interesting. So this was knit with five colors of Dashing Sassy, and you can see that beautiful stitch definition. It's really crisp and fluffy with that single ply, and it really makes those pearl bumps pop beautifully throughout each section. So the Vertices Unite, it's composed in all these modular chunks, so you knit it one section at a time. So I put a light blue and a medium blue together, and then I used some of the beautiful neutral semi-solids from Ching Fiber, the like kind of clay colors and terracotta tones. And this was the color I first showed you for the focal point. This is called Oceanid. Oceanid. It's a really lovely cream with blush, stone, and rosemary tones. So it has this variegation to it. And in Vertices Unite, there's one section in the shawl where you only see one color, and that's the only time you see it. So that's with color E. You have colors A and B, C and D, and color E here in the center. So I use that multicolor yarn to really give it a, a frame to showcase that multicolor tone. So yarns like this, something like this that's really multicolored, I think that would be beautiful as a, one of the main colors in your Vertices Unite. And then your other tones could be like purple and maybe some mint. You could do a little brown. And what else? Do we want a little yellow? That could be fun. I think I'd do another purple. I think that's a beautiful palette. So you can really mix up those solids and speckled yarns. And that's what I love about Ching Fiber is the type of dye style they have is really eclectic. So you can lean more into the semi-solids if you want that high contrast type of effect, playing with those more harmonious and more solid tones. Or you could get really splashy and blendy. They have all of these fun multicolored tones. So I just love mixing and matching all the different dye styles, but the speckles and multicolor melty colors are really where Ching Fiber shines. They're so artistic and one of a kind with those little splashes of color, the melted washes of rustic tones. This colorway is called Cottage Core, and it's a really nice neutral with rusty moments and subtle blue and pink speckles. So lots of fun colors to play around with. And uh, there's dozens of colors that we have at Stephen and Penelope. This is about all I could fit on this table. And a lot of these are the new colors. So most of these multicolors and these murky in-between tones, like this banana tree, it's a really lovely khaki rosemary green. It can kind of lean into neutral, but then you can spice it up and accent the green with another green tone. So that's what I love about these funky, murky tones. You get that same quality here. This is the matcha colorway. It's yellow, but it's green, but brown. So then that means you could just pair it with all of those tones 
and there you have a palette. It's really fun to lean into those tones using those multicolors as an inspiration and then pull the tones that you see from it. You say, oh, I see it. it's a little bit yellowy, so exaggerate that with a yellow, yellow pop. And this brown is just called tan, the tan colorway. That could bring out those beautiful neutral tones. What would that oceanid colorway? That's really soft. So it just depends on your mood, where you want to take it. But there's a lot of places you can go with dozens of colors. So you'll find all of these at stephenandpenelope.com. And there's just so many fun collectibles to try. But Vertices Unite is a fun project in garter stitch to play with. And if you want to try some other shawls, I think those dashing sassy colors would look really nice in a painting triangles using those semi-solids as the color pops or even a multicolor triangle would look really good against uh, a solid. Something really fiery or against that green solid. Let's see, I think this purple is the winner. Yeah, I like those together. So you could choose two skeins for your main color for painting triangles and a bunch of solid, semi-solid or even a speckled yarn would clash nicely against the solid main color. So two skeins of the main color, plus at least three contrast colors for painting triangles. And Dashing Sassy with that single ply merino, it's really fluid. So you could put four shades together along with one color of mohair for the Moherino medley. This would be a really fun shawl to play with, with some Dashing Sassy colors. Four shades of a merino, so maybe just pick some favorites. If you love greens, get all your favorite greens. Where's that bright green? There we go. And then you just need one skein of mohair to pop with that palette. So one skein of mohair is really going to liquefy the fabric and give you that five skein total uh, yarn amount for the moherino medley. Four skeins of merino plus one mohair. And for you fade knitting lovers, the chevron shenanigans. This was a shawl I designed with Ching Fiber going from light gray into dark gray. Choosing five shades of dashing sassy would make a really fluid and drapey chevron shenanigans. So those greens, or maybe, I just love this multicolor. That's the Taiga colorway, T-A-I-G-A. That's so good with those purples. So let's see if we can make a beautiful light to dark fade sequence. Maybe there. Oh, I loved that green with the purples. Sometimes it's just too hard to choose. Something like that could work, going from light to dark. Or maybe you accentuate the pastel moments. Ooh, that would work too. Or you could go more rustic. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll keep that one. So five skeins will make the chevron shenanigans. So we have some kits pre-selected for a lot of these patterns. So you can find a lot of kits at stephenandpenelope.com or you can pick your own palettes choosing single skeins. The chevron shenanigans uses five skeins faded together. So have fun picking your shawls, give that yarn a try, and uh, when in doubt, start with that inspiration color you know, a beautiful multicolor that you see, and then just collect yarns and a color family. So get some greens, get some yellows, a little bit of pink with that, and then you have a beautiful custom palette. Well, I hope some of those colors inspired you and you have some new project ideas. If you have a favorite shawl or sweater using that dashing sassy base, please comment down below and let me know what your favorite pattern is. Or if you saw a color too, I'm curious what your favorite color is that you saw. I think one of my favorites is this Sunset Dreams, this little pastel, powerful yellow color. Because I really like those colors that Ching does where you, she dyes them and then you can lean them one way or another. So you could take that yellow and make it more yellow, or you could take that pinky purple and make it more pinky purple when you stripe and marl those colors together. So that's one of the things I just love about Ching Fiber is it's a whole painter's palette of solids, speckles, and variegated colors. So you can really collect a vivid and wild color story for your project. So I can't wait to see what you make with this Ching Fiber Dashing Sassy. And if you want to collect some skeins of it, you can find them at stephenandpenelope.com. And we ship these skeins worldwide so you can collect your favorites and they'll show up on your doorstep in a few days. 
So I'll see y'all in the next video.